Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. The Sun, our nearest star, constantly emits a stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. These particles, which are mostly electrons and protons, travel at speeds of up to 1.5 million miles per hour and can have a significant impact on our planet's magnetic field and atmosphere. On February the 26th to the 27th, an incoming solar wind stream from the Sun's equatorial region is expected to arrive at Earth. This stream of solar wind could potentially spark a minor G1-class geomagnetic storm. Solar wind is created by the Sun's hot corona, which is the outermost layer of its atmosphere. The corona's temperature is several million degrees Celsius, and its particles are constantly being accelerated by the Sun's powerful magnetic fields. These particles escape the Sun's gravitational pull and are carried away into space by the solar wind. The speed, density, and magnetic properties of the solar wind can vary greatly depending on the activity on the Sun's surface. When the Sun is relatively calm, the solar wind is relatively constant and mild. However, when the Sun is more active, such as during solar flares or coronal mass ejections, the solar wind can become highly variable and intense. The incoming solar wind stream that is expected to arrive on February the 26th to the 27th is flowing from an equatorial hole in the Sun's atmosphere. These holes are regions of the Sun's corona where the magnetic field is weaker, allowing the hot gas to flow outward more easily. Equatorial holes are often the source of high-speed solar wind streams that can cause geomagnetic storms when they interact with Earth's magnetic field. Geomagnetic storms are disruptions in Earth's magnetic field that can cause a variety of effects, ranging from minor disruptions in radio communications to widespread power outages. Geomagnetic storms are classified on a scale from G1 to G5, with G1 being the mildest and G5 being the most severe. The incoming solar wind stream is expected to cause a minor G1-class geomagnetic storm, which means that it could cause some minor disruptions to satellite and radio communications, but is not likely to cause any significant damage. The effects of the incoming solar wind stream will be most noticeable at high latitudes, such as in the northern and southern polar regions. In these areas, the solar wind can interact more directly with Earth's magnetic field, causing auroras to light up the night sky. Auroras are beautiful natural displays of light that occur when charged particles from the solar wind collide with atoms in Earth's atmosphere. Overall, the incoming solar wind stream expected to arrive on February the 26th to the 27th is not expected to cause any significant disruptions or damage. However, it is a reminder of the ongoing activity on the Sun's surface and the potential for the Sun to impact our planet. Scientists and researchers continue to study the Sun and its effects on Earth to better understand and predict these events and their potential impact. Thank you for watching and learning about the incoming solar wind stream that is expected to arrive on February the 26th to the 27th. As we have seen, this stream of charged particles can have a significant impact on our planet's magnetic field and atmosphere, and it is important to stay informed about these events. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest space and science news. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so that they too can learn about the fascinating world of space and the sun's impact on our planet. Thank you for watching.